Hello everyone and welcome back to Mind Pattern. How are you all doing? I hope you guys are having a great day so far because in today's video, we're going to be talking about Hightail and a new postcard. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming uploads. Without any more interruptions, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Firstly, why would we want more games like Minecraft? It seems to be enough, right? Well, not quite. To begin with, the game is horribly out of date and far too simple by today's standards. For the second time, it's built on the Java engine, which is a highly underpowered engine. No new dungeons have been added to the upper world for the third time since the game's introduction in 2015. Even the abandoned mines do not appear to have been maintained, and as a result, they appear to be excessively repetuous in appearance. There are many better games out there, such as Portal Knights, Hytale, and another that is substantially better. Even though I'm completely aware that many people will start throwing tomatoes at us, I'm wondering if just playing the game is enough. If the upper world, it's likely that we'd like the game even more if the makers provided a wider variety of abandoned mines and dungeons, as well as waterfalls and more structures. Nevertheless, developers sometimes just provide minor enhancements. Minecraft will be rendered obsolete if and when such a game is released. It was the same with PUBG when the Fortnite game was released. And it will be the same with Minecraft when it's released. The replacement of Minecraft with Hytale looks to be controversial, since not everyone is in agreement with this decision. Because of the following grounds, one expert raised skepticism regarding it. Given the fact that Minecraft is the best-selling game of all time, it seems unlikely that the game's popularity would wane anytime soon as a result of Hytale's presence in it. Furthermore, your principal criticisms are trivial in nature and consist of issues that may be remedied by moderators if they are addressed. Although the excitement around Hytale has diminished a little, it's unlikely that this will have a detrimental influence on Minecraft. Hytale will be a sandbox game similar to any other, with the exception of doing certain new activities that may result in some sales. It will not be able to dethrone Minecraft in terms of player base as it's now structured. According to the assertion, Minecraft is too simple and outdated. This is entirely wrong. Minions, minigames, and magnificent structures may be built in Minecraft, which is an open-ended game with a fundamental idea that can be changed into new and inventive things. The title of this piece is a little bit of a stretch, to be honest, and with the 10th anniversary of the release of Minecraft, the game has reached an all-time high in terms of popularity, with PewDiePie's contributions helping it to grow even further in popularity. Even a year after it originally got public recognition, the game is still going strong, and servers such as Hypixel are frequently bursting at the seams with people who want to play. It may have been suitable a few years ago, but the past is no longer relevant in this day and age. The current moment is defined as, we are in the present moment. By the way, do you think Hytale will be that great? Let us know in the comments section down below. The Postcard the Hytale Instagram account has also posted a new postcard for the game Hytale. The postcard, which shows a scene from Halloween Night, was sent to us by the Hytale team. Many characters, including warriors and pumpkin-headed evil farmers, as well as witches and other supernatural entities, feature in the storyline. In addition, we can see a beautiful house out in the distance. It has a wonderful spire with birds perched on either side of it, which is very stunning. The belief among fans is that it may be capable of conveying some form of magic. Additionally, when the game is released, players will be able to tour exquisite residences, which should be a lot of fun. A leak also indicated that Hytale will be launched on September 1st, 2022, which would come as a great surprise. The possibility exists that this is only a placeholder and that we'll have to wait until 2023 for the full release. But that's all the time we have for you guys today though, so thank you all for watching. If you guys have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments down below and I'd love to help you out. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't already for more awesome content like this and much more. We'll see you guys next time, but until then, take Take care and goodbye.